Okay, landscapes. We've come here to Abbotsbury in Dorset just to show you a typical la landscape scene. And what I want to show you is how to take a good landscape shot by not just using wide angle lenses. What most people think when they think of a landscape shot is get a 24 millimeter lens, a 16 millimeter wide angle lens, take the photo and then just walk away onto the next shot. What I want to show you is that there's sometimes finer details that you can zoom into using a telephoto lens to actually pick out parts of the scene as additional shots. And if you're shooting uh, stuff for stock, a scene like this, you could probably get five, six, seven or eight shots from, just from looking at different aspects of the scene. So first of all, I'm going to take a shot using a wide angle lens at 24 millimeter, uh, 24 millimeters. I've set to aperture priority at f8, and that's giving me quite a fast shutter speed of about 500th of a second at ISO 100. So I'm just going to take a quick set of shot of this whole scene, and then I'm going to change to a telephoto to see how it comes out. So let's just get a shot here. Okay, you can see there we've got some beautiful cloud formations which are coming out really nice on the, on the wide angle shot. But now what I'm going to do is quickly change to a telephoto lens and actually zoom in on a part of the, the shot that you can see up there. Right, now what I'm going to be using is a 70 to 200 millimeter uh, telephoto zoom using exactly the same settings. I'm going to be using the, the lens on 200 millimeter to try and get as close as I can to a feature in the background. Now, again, I'm getting the same settings. I've got ISO 100, aperture priority at f8 for the depth of field, and I'm getting around 500th of a second um, shutter speed. But what I want to do, you can probably see in the background just about, there's a, a kind of windy road just in the background over there. I want to take a couple of shots of that zoomed right in. And let's just have a look at that, see how that goes. And we're going to try and get the sheep in the foreground as well. So I'm going to put the sheep in focus, have the windy road in the background, and then take the shot. Okay, now I'm going to show you these on a computer just to show you how different the shots are when you're using a different lens. And the point of this is just to explain to you that when you look at a scene, when you're shooting landscapes, don't just look at the scene as an overall picture. Just look around you and just see how many individual pictures are within that whole area. And I think you'll get quite a few more shots for your money by using a telephoto lens or going in even closer using something like a macro lens. Okay, let's quickly just go through those photos now we've got them on the computer. This is the original shot that I took with the 24mm lens and as you can see it gets most of the landscape in. We've got sheep, we've got the foreground interest, we've got the, uh, the road behind in the distance. We've got the hills, we've got the clouds and the blue sky, and generally it's a quite a good landscape shot. Uh, it's very colourful, there's good definition, there's good uh, sharpness and saturation everywhere. So as an initial shot, I'd be very happy with that. But as we go through, we'll look at the second shot that I took, which was of the windy road. We zoomed in with the 200mm lens, and in this shot, you've basically picked out a portion of the landscape to actually emphasise. We've still got the great clouds there in the background with the blue sky, but you can see here, that the the road just kind of winds all the way through the shot and it's it's become the main feature of the image as opposed to the whole landscape just so happens we were quite lucky enough to have a car coming down the road and i do believe there was even a a bird or something in the road yeah there's a bird there which flies off in the next shot but i'll come back to this this in a minute but you can see just by zooming in we've actually got quite a good um shot a portion of that landscape then we took one whenever i take shots like this i always take one in portrait mode and one in landscape mode uh, and again for this shot you've got quite a few elements you've got the sky behind and you've got this hill just coming down the top of the edge works quite well with the rule of thirds then you've got the road which comes from the top right of the image spirals down the center comes over to the left and then shoots off to the right so as far as the roads concerned that is great and this would be a good shot for maybe a driving magazine or a driving website which basically denotes the road because again the road is the main part of the image I think if we zoom in yeah, you can see the bird there flying away. I mean, it's good detail. This is with the, the 5D Mark II, which has got a 21 megapixel sensor. But it just proves that you can find lots and lots of different photos in one landscape. And if we move on yet again, this is the one we took with the sheep in the foreground. Now, because I included the sheep quite close in the foreground, even with an aperture of f8, and because I was using 200 millimeter telephoto lens, the backgrounds become slightly blurred. So rather than the road being the main emphasis in this shot now, the sheep have become the main part of the main subject in the image, um, even though the road still plays a part. So this again could be used as 
uh, any kind of website on driving or rural countryside or how roads affect countryside and what we're doing to the landscapes that kind of thing so again we've got a radically different shot to the first one just by again by zooming into a portion of the image so as I said when whenever you look at a, a landscape shot whenever you come across a scene that looks really good take the initial photo and then just look a little closer and see if there's any portions of a landscape you can actually pick out and I'm just gonna go into Photoshop quickly to show you one image that I mean this is the image of the, the road coming right down and I like this shot because it, it shows quite a few different details of the landscape but because it's such a large resolution image we can actually crop about and play with this image to our heart's content uh, first shot I could do is maybe crop to here and just have the car on the right hand on oh, sorry on the left hand side of the image and a bit of the landscape so again we've got the road as the main emphasis of the image showing the rolling hills of Dorset that kind of thing but leaving enough text on the right hand side sorry enough space on the right hand side here for maybe text in a magazine or an article something like that let's go back to the original we could actually if you wanted a banner ad going down the side of a um, a website you can actually just take the middle strip and have that let's go and crop in a bit further and at the top here you could have text about great drives of Great Britain uh, down the bottom you could have a website address that kind of thing so you could turn that portion of the image into an ad um, let's have a look what else we got you can go this side instead of going to the right hand side we can come over to the left and this is to illustrate Dorset a bit more you can see here the road comes from the top right arches down the hill sorry spirals down the hill ends up on the left where there's a little sign that says Abbotsbury so we know where the place is we know it's a, a driving image but it's also got the rolling hills in the background with the blue sky and there's even some cows at the top of the hill there so my point is that you can take one main image which is the uh, the original one that we took here and you can find so many different shots from within that just by using a telephoto lens and zooming into certain portions and then by cropping later on in Photoshop so keep your eyes peeled whenever you're taking landscapes and just really enjoy yourself and get as many shots out of one scene that you can